Uh, hi, my name is uh, Dane, Dane Fitzmaurice. Uh, as far as my background in web development goes, I, I had a bit of an interesting start. Uh, I went to uh, school at George Mason University for uh, a double major in art and visual technology with a focus on oil painting and uh, computer game design. So I wasn't initially headed in the programming web development path. In fact, I thought I was going to be dodging that altogether, um, but I was exposed to you know, programming and web development, you know, over the course of my time there, it, I started dabbling in JavaScript because I wanted to do some some fancy thing, things here and there. And I had spent a very small amount of time on JavaScript um, back in school. So one thing led to another, the, the that artistic side of my brain started kicking in. It realized, I realized the power that I had when you weren't at the whim of somebody else to be able to do those types of things that, you know, maybe you want to do on your web page. And so that led to uh, uh, my obsessive side taking over, and that's when I really started to to dig in and uh, uh, really start to learn the the language as well as the CSS and HTML. Interestingly, I started off in a very raw format. I wasn't using frameworks. I wasn't using anything. So uh, for me, I was able to gain an appreciation, I think, for for the basics uh, because I, I I didn't really know much about the the communities out there that. Uh, would have driven me to these solutions. It was really just, you know, how do I do this? How do I do X or Y? And Googling that and, and learning how to do it in raw JavaScript. When I got started, I never, I never had formal JavaScript training. And so I never had a way, you know, despite, you know, my success with my company, I never had a way to really validate that. You know, I, a part of me is always wondering, are there, are there holes in my knowledge base? Are there things that I missed along the way that are, are important? you know, part of me definitely wanted to have some way of, you know, for myself, certainly validating that. But, you know, also with uh, uh, my company, there is, uh, it's, we, we do have internal projects, but we also do, you know, potentially pursue other external opportunities. And so having, having uh, uh, individuals uh, as part of your team who have certifications is something that, you know, we certainly uh, do like to tap if we have that, um, and so you know that was another reason that was that 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 was compelling to me. Um, but again, and just in terms of the the, the quality of the uh, the process, the quality of the material that you guys provided, uh, I had uh, a lot of confidence in the fact that it would be a a sufficient validation uh, by seeking out that. Uh, by seeking out that certification of kind of, of, of where where I am in my development, you know, my development journey, my, my JavaScript journey of understanding, you know, the, the, the broader subjects to the more minute aspects of it. And so just looking at the material you guys have laid out, uh, I, I already, you know, understood, yeah, this is, this is, if I were on a hiring team, you know, bringing people into the company, these are precisely the things I would want to know that, uh, that the individual is proficient in. The exam process was uh, smoother than I, I think I could have hoped for. I remember, you know, uh, you guys were even warning that there may be uh, issues that you might encounter technical issues uh, here and there, especially in the, the, the programming challenge block. But uh, I honestly didn't encounter uh, anything that was, uh, that, that uh, significantly impacted my experience. Multiple choice uh, section was fantastic, it was smooth. Uh, questions by and large were clear. Uh, I, was, I, I was never sitting there much saying, I, I don't really understand what, you know, th there, were, there was no ambiguity, uh, at least from my perspective. Even the way the uh, documentation was situated to where you could have that side by side with what you were doing, you'd pull it back up, reference it, um, because I'm someone who has to go and constantly read things over and over and over again to make sure I'm doing things properly. Uh, and so that's that's what I did to, to, to respond to that that part. I, I, I made it to where I was always just going back and, and, and looking to make sure I was addressing the prompt correctly. And uh, the you guys made it very easy uh, and, and very simple for, for me to go and grab, to, to grab that. Uh, also the fact that you guys allowed us to use the console, obviously, as, as a, as a uh, console.logger, uh, that was also extremely helpful as well to be able to see that feedback. That was something I was concerned about going in is, 
Will I be able to, uh, you know, will I be able to use kind of my own uh, uh, programming style when I'm doing these types of questions? And by and large, I was able to. So I was very relieved to see that. Go through the material. Uh, I found that to be uh, perfectly sufficient for what I encountered on the exam. Take those practice exams at the end of each section. In the, the exam preparation guide, those do a phenomenal job of covering precisely the types of you know, programming challenges, coding challenges that you will see run through it. Even if, even if you feel, oh, you know, I, I think I kind of know how to do this. I did encounter some things here and there that you know weren't necessarily um, uh, weren't necessarily knowledge gaps per se, but they it was a way of asking a certain question like you know use an array in this method or or you know think about uh, uh, this in this way that was like oh this was good this perspective and this way of of addressing a question was very helpful to know and be ready for encountering when it came time to taking the exam. Cert Certifications.dev, I have seen featured very prominently in my, the, all my various community materials from you know uh, emails and things that come in. And uh, when you visit the site, you can tell by it's e even just it's, 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 it's visual composition, the way it lays out information um, that it is you know, of high quality. And I think oftentimes within the developer community, you can recognize a valuable resource by by its uh, outward appearance, by the way it's displayed. Because you know uh, time has been taken by other talented developers put into developing this resource. So I think just as just as a kind of a primary uh, a source for this type of thing, that being JavaScript certification or, or any future certifications that are added to it, I, what I personally believe uh, it will turn into is kind of the the nucleus for that type of thing. So when whenever, you know, current or future developers are looking for that type of, of certification validation uh, for whatever reason, I feel like certifications.dev will, will turn into that place where it's understood by both developers and people looking for, for developers with certifications that certifications coming out of, of certification.dev have that intrinsic value, have that, that you know, that they, they stand for what they mean. Um, so uh, there could, I'm sure there are, there are many other reasons and perhaps uh, I, they will, uh, in time, I will discover more answers to this question. But for me, just, just as the, the, the accreditation that you guys have, um, and that, that I've, I've learned personally, I think many other, many others recognize, I think it will, the, the value of these certifications will only grow in time as you guys uh, uh, ha have more people run through the program, as well as add more certifications to your platform. It, it gives me more confidence in myself going forward that I actually do have um, uh, a knowledge base of, of this, this thing that I work in every day that there is no longer this question of, you know, am I, am I good enough? Am I, you know, competent enough? Are there, are there valleys and uh, vistas and frontiers in JavaScript that have been fundamentally, you know, um, uh, misunderstood or unknown to me? And so, being able to go through this experience and and fill those out uh, and shine light on all those areas. And then you know have a have a certification that means something to me in the end to to undergird all that was fantastic. There are certainly um, other certifications I have my eye on and other and other areas um, uh, that I look forward to considering. Um, because you know one of the things about being a JavaScript developer is you know it is part of the community as a whole is that there are so many tools. And even being knowledgeable in a tool you might not otherwise use, depending on your career path, can obviously be of great value to you uh, when you know pursuing certain opportunities. Like, do you have an understanding of this this framework or that framework or you know this library? And so, um, certainly those types of things can have an impact on what you do. So, no doubt, I will be you know as time goes on and 
having already the confidence in you guys to begin with. Certainly, as you guys produce more certifications or other material that flows from that, I will be keeping a very close eye on that. <laughs>